Hey everybody, this is Mike Clark. I hope you're having a great Friday. I'm in the weather cave right now, and we got a really big treat for you. Everyone say hello to Joe DiNardo. How you doing, Joe? I'm not doing bad, thank you for asking. It's great to see you back in the house. It's nice to be here, but I don't understand a thing that's going on. <laughs> <laughs> if that means anything. I, I understand you're, you're tutoring Ray right now. I sure am. <laughs> What's it feel like being back, back here in the cave? It's not good. <laughs> It's not good. Well, it's, it's great to see your face back here. Well, listen, studio. it's always nice to be back. And I want to tell the viewers, it's my, uh, Raymond certainly knows what he's doing. <laughs> and uh, I'm getting a briefing and an education today. What's the, and, for, what's the forecast look like for tonight's Kennywood Parade? I have no idea. I That's the beauty of retirement. <laughs> That's right. You don't, you don't worry about it. I would say the odds are we're not going to get wet. Great. It looks pretty good. Have you I can't. I don't like the humidity or the temperatures today, but other than that, it's a pretty good day. And what what time is it going to be going off? The parade? Yeah. Uh, the parade starts at seven thirty, and with the humidity, my forecast is I will have better hair than Mike Clark. Cause yeah. it's, this is going big. There you go. This is going big tonight. Mine's going to stay right, roughly the same. Roughly right. the same. <laughs> But a lot of people are wondering, there'll be, there'll be no rain tonight during the parade. Uh, ch chances are small. Very, um, very small. Very right. small. Absolutely. So what are you guys doing here now? Uh, just looking at the radar. Um, uh, we're talking about the differences between when Joe would put together a forecast and how I put together a forecast. And um, I'll tell you, the difference. <laughs> I'm going to be, the viewers are watching this, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snitch on him. <laughs> The difference is this, quite simply. It would take me, when I'd come in at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, at least two to three hours to put a good forecast together and get it ready for on the air at 5 or 6. Wow. He can come in for a 5 o'clock news show. He can come in at 4.30 and have it all done and give a forecast, too. I could... That's the way it's all laid out for him anymore. Is it he doesn't even have to work. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> and he makes more than I do. <laughs> What's going on here? There's something wrong with this picture. <laughs> oh, Joe, that's funny. But but technology really has advanced. Oh, I mean, he has, so he has, much so, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Now the there's only, too much data. I think the only way I could get to him was very simply hand him an instrument. Yeah. And I don't even know if he knows what it is. Have you ever heard of a slide rule? A slide rule for uh, calculating uh, um, yes, differential sir. equations. He's a scientist. That was our computer. Yeah. Right. Hey, Joe, I want to tell you, uh, Jamie says, Joe, you look great. Charlene. Tell Jamie, tell Jamie uh, that's very kind of her. And Charlene says, still looking as handsome as ever. She oh grew up God. watching you. Is she? Yeah. Or she did? Yep. My God, she must be extremely young when she was watching me. <laughs> and Amanda says, love to see Joe. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Robin says, Joe, look great. They're all talking about you. Well, are they? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Ray. <laughs> hey, you know what? Nope. I, I yield. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, uh, seriously, this is really an education for me. Yeah. I haven't been on the air for what? I guess it's been uh, 11 years now. Wow, it does not seem That's like that. That's how much this has changed, really. Wow. But I can still get a, I can still do a forecast. But <laughs> no, I, no, he, not nearly with the speed he can. He, he, he still puts together forecasts, and when we chat on the weekends, yes, we I do. know when my forecast isn't quite right. Cause... Well, <laughs> and I give him little idiosyncrasies about Pittsburgh weather and forecasting big snowstorms. Well, I'm going to talk like a viewer now. With all these tools that Ray has, he should never get it wrong, right? Well, tools are one thing. Accuracy is another. <laughs> when you consider the expansiveness of the atmosphere, it's difficult for even a computer to put all that together. Yeah. More viewers. Joe Sharon says, we miss you, Joe. Chuck says, I grew up watching Joe. And Chris says, nice to see Joe. Oh, are these viewers at home? Yeah, show? they're talking to him live. Is that right? Yeah. Patty huh. Lucas says, hi, Joe. You look great. She's very kind. Pat Chafee says, hey, Pat Joe. Pat Chafee, hey, we were just <laughs> local three. I remember him. Do you remember Pat? I remember Pat. <laughs> absolutely. He says, you look fabulous. Miss you. Pat the stagehand. I, absolutely. I remember him. Local three. He, absolutely. He might have been one of the best lefty ball players I've ever seen hit a ball. Is that right? Yeah, I saw him play softball. I was trying to think of one of the stagehands who let the snow fall on me. 
and I can't think of his name. Maybe Pat will remember one of these days. Well, Pat's watching. Pat, if you know who the stagehand was who let the snow fall put on the snow, Put the bag and box up there and open it up when I was doing some weather, and winter weather forecast, and look, it was snowing. I can't think of his name. Well, but anyway. Well, you know, we've been going to Kennywood for so many years. Yes. You've been our face and our driving force, the passion behind Project Bundle Up. What are some of the best memories you've had of both Kennywood and Bundle Up over the years? Well, uh, there was one fella, we called him Eddie, and uh, he was there from morning until night on Kennywood Day, TAE Day. And uh, I think Eddie must have taken, uh, I think this is going to be like my 40-some parade, all right? <laughs> and uh, I think Eddie had a picture of me every parade we ever went to. And all of a sudden, you start to remember these people, yeah. which is scary, you know. <laughs> and you start to remember. But there's a lot of pleasant memories. It's got to feel good that you've been you've been a part of people's lives for so many long, a couple generations too. Well, yes, at least. And uh, I got to tell you something. This place, Channel Four, was extremely and still is extremely good to me, and uh, I'll never forget that. Of course, I was good for them as well. It was a two-way street, and uh, that's why I like to come out. Yeah, I like to talk to Ray and learn things. And uh, you're still mentoring the little guys here, the young guys. I don't mentor anymore. No. He's, he's helping me. I'm finding out how little work he'll do. And well, what little time it'll I, take for him I'm to do it. I'm making it look as hard as I possibly can. And I can. walked in here today. This doesn't even look like a studio. Yeah. But we, as we know it. It's like the Starship Enterprise. Right? Absolutely. I was looking for Spock. <laughs> well, I tell you this: when you walked in the newsroom today, everyone just smiled. They said, "Joe's here." Joe. Yeah. There was a great big buzz. It was. It was like the king is back. It's really nice to come back. It really is. I Pat Shavey said it was Eddie. Who that's did it. right. Eddie. Eddie. That's the guy. Eddie. That's yeah. right. Thanks, Pat. Appreciate it. <laughs> Well, thank you, Joe, for spending some time with us. Uh, anything you want to impart on our Facebook friends watching you right now? No, just keep watching. Ray's a great meteorologist, and he'll give you the right information. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.